So I think this is a perfect opportunity to talk about deep bedding and what really is deep bedding, especially on a slightly larger scale. So you see the, the 50 foot caterpillar tunnel. That's where we hold 200 chickens to 250. Um, and they have access to the outdoors, but I'm pulling out today this huge pile <clears throat> of what looks like mostly broken down compost made from wood chips. This huge pile is coming out of this tunnel. So I'll just show you how, what deep bedding actually means. There's my coyote I'm doing the work with. But you can see the bucket was scraping the ground right here. That's what four feet of deep bedding looks like once it's broken down. So there's these big hills in here and <clears throat> you could let this fully break down, take the tarp off um, and it would just basically turn into topsoil, compost topsoil for you to plant in. Um, but because we're in the woods, <clears throat> it doesn't get a lot of light. So it's better to get in there and take out, this is one year old. So this was about four feet of wood chips. You take it out with your tractor or if you don't have one, I used to have to do it with wheelbarrows. But um, anyway, you put it outside to cure. Out here, it's gonna get rain. It's mostly broken down. There's any uh, material that needs to be further broken down because this is in contact with the forest floor, there's gonna be worms and bugs to help aid in the breakdown. But also because it's gonna be getting more moisture, um, the bacteria and fungal communities will finish breaking it down. So that's what deep bedding really means. You gotta have at least several feet of wood chips in your tunnel. And that's gonna catch all the bird's manure and make it so it doesn't smell. I mean, even in there, this is all, this is a year's worth of 200 chickens depositing manure. It doesn't smell at all. It smells great. It just smells like soil. It's really cool. Um, so here's, I'll show you an active tunnel. This one only has 125, so it's not even a lot of chickens. One of the girls is out. Come on. Let's go. All right, so <clears throat> you see up this hill, at the top, it's probably only about three feet worth of bedding. So we still, you don't add it all at once. It's much easier to add it, you know, you put about a foot in and then let the hens go at it. You see all these divots? They dig in and I throw some oats in there and they, they find the oats and stir your compost for you. So it's an integrated system, right? I don't have to stir this every day to get rid of their manure because the chickens stir it for me. So up here at the top, I'm probably on about three feet of wood chip and closer to the door, it's probably only about half a foot and you add it little by little. And that way, your chicken run, you don't have to move your chickens, but it doesn't smell. And the chickens are really healthy because the wood chips absorb all the extra nitrogen. And here's what you get. Just give them a nesting box, and bam. Just one nesting box, a ton of eggs. Come on, ladies. It's still laying in there, so it's still early. So that's deep bedding. Wood chips are free around here. There's tons of tree services, so we'll just drop them off. So you take your free carbon source. You just gotta throw it in the tunnel. I have done it by hand with pitchforks and wheelbarrows, but it's much easier if you have a bigger operation to get a front loader tractor or even an ATV with a trailer works pretty well um, you just need a lot four feet in a 50 foot tunnel by 14 feet wide it's a lot of yards of chips but 
um, it really does the trick.